My name is Stu Laidlaw. I am the territory manager for Insel Foam located in Anchorage, Alaska. I've been in the building supply and manufacturing business for over 27 years, and I'm here to discuss the Dalton Highway project. Dalton Highway is a road that goes north from Fairbanks to Prudhoe Bay. What prompted the need uh, for this project was just to, to keep the Dalton Highway in good condition year round in the summer, in the winter, so to keep it open for, for truck drivers and suppliers to continue to have access to bring, bring the needs for the oil companies up here in Prudhoe Bay so they can just continue to get their, their supplies as needed outside of airplane. It's the only way to, to get supplies in here. Um, barging in here is a, into Prudhoe Bay is a very limited, tight window. You've got about a two month window to try and barge large supplies in here. So the Dalton Highway is the main, the main source for these guys up here, so to make sure that that road uh, stays in good shape. Working with the Alaska State DOT, who has had plans for several years to upgrade the section of road from Prudhoe Bay, roughly 50 miles south of there, to design insulation in the road. Alaska State DOT have very strenuous specifications, especially when you're talking civil construction. Insel Foam Anchorage is very unique in the fact that we make a product that meets that intent, specification, and design. This Dalton Highway project is the largest project that we've ever done at this location. It's 48 million board foot that we had to manufacture over a three year time period. The volume was phenomenal. We've had to ramp up our manufacturing for this project. We're on a 24-7 production schedule for three years straight. Manufacturing went very well for it. Excellent maintenance team on it. We were able to do at least 15 million board foot of product every year for the last three years plus, keep up with our standard business. It ran very well for us, very well executed. When it comes to the inventory of board that we're going through, we need three 52-foot um, flatbed trucks stacked uh, six bundles high, coming with 81 bundles. We need three and a half trucks a day to meet the requirement for what we're putting down on the road every single day. So you're talking getting four trucks on a 500-mile haul road, offloading it, getting it into our crew's hands, and then installing it and uh, we're putting down over 3,000 individual sheets per 12-hour shift. We have storage capacity up to about 80 million board foot of product. A lot of it went out on rail cars, 101,000 board foot per rail car, which is equivalent to about 500 rail cars that we ship for this job. Raw material is shipped in from the lower 48 and everything else is 100% manufactured in-house. It's a superior product. Benefits of working with uh, Insel Foam out of Anchorage is their ability to meet the quantity that we needed for this project. And I know for them, quantity-wise, this was by far the most board they ever had to produce. At one point, they were producing board for all three of these projects, because last, last year, all three of the projects were all working at the same time, all putting board in the road at the same time. And we always received the board when we were supposed to, and they met our needs. In terms of uh, securing the insulation board to the road surface, kind of almost looks like a pogo stick, but it's uh, a giant stapler. It uses six inch staples. A guy walks along, punches it in, staple drives through the insulation board and secures it to the gravel. In terms of Insel Foam's insulation board product compared to other competitors, several guys who have been in this industry for 20 to 30 years who have worked in, with the blue board and, and such items like that. And a lot of the old timers that have been around were surprised at how well that the board held up once we started putting gravel on it. Started bowling, you know, dozing over it with our equipment and it you know, wouldn't break apart and crumble in pieces like stuff they had worked with in the past. The biggest challenges we had with this caliber and this volume was keeping up with our standard business that we had. We had to make sure we had 100% efficiency on this machine around the clock so we could still take care of our uh, local customers and our local suppliers and our business, and we did a very good job at that. What Dalton Highway proved to not only the building industry and the civil construction industry, but it proved to ourselves, Insel Foam, that we were able to produce something of magnitude. 
This job ultimately is most important to the community and the work, the work up here on the North Slope oil field is keep this road open for the truck drivers to be able to bring in supplies to the oil field workers.